taxes will continue to go up and up and up on these properties. What's next? Even though prices are coming down on these properties. Now I knew what you're thinking. Orlando, how is that possible? As prices come down, taxes will go up. Well, I'm going to answer that question for you guys. This is one of these things that will affect everyone. It will affect people who are buying, people who are selling, people who are homeowners, renters, this affects everybody. So you need to watch this video to understand what you need to do. My name is Orlando and welcome to the channel. Let's jump into this hot, hot topic here. The steaming housing market yields high property taxes for Metro Atlanta homeowners. Now, it's just not Atlanta, it's everywhere, guys. This is something that is going to eat people alive. Huh? especially individuals who have decided to buy a home, an overpriced home, now they're going to reap the consequences of buying that home. See, one of the things that a lot of times you don't know is when you're buying a home, most people do not, do not, I rarely ever see this happen. Individuals do not take into consideration the up purchase price. Most of the time they go back and they look at what the taxes were being charged before with the previous owner. But here's the thing, the taxes are evaluated on the previous value, not the purchase price. So it says here, Atlanta housing market is still hot and that just doesn't impact people looking to buy homes, but people who already own. Many homeowners have just received their tax bill and some might have sticker shock. Robert, who's 61, lives in Brookwood Park neighborhood. His bill arrived Monday, more than $3,550. Imagine you've owned your home for the last 20 years. It's paid off. You're on a set income. You get the same amount because you're retired. You know, maybe you get it from social security. You're a senior citizen and all of a sudden, <laughs> you get a bill that is astronomically higher than you've been paying the year before. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. Yes, here's the thing. I know what people are gonna say. Orlando, the value went up. Shouldn't they be happy? Yes, they should be happy. But here's the thing. Most of the time people are holding the equity inside of their home. They're not going to, you know, do a refi cash out because they don't want to, right? That's the whole purpose of having the home paid off, your expenses down, but now you have to pay $3,500. He got cooked. It probably went up 30, 40% in price. He reacted with more of a shrug, he says, and not as big of an increase as some of his properties that he owned. Now he's talking about investing in properties. And let me tell you, <laughs> I have been on the end of this myself. This is the reason why I say renters, guys. Renters, this transfers to you too because if property taxes are increasing on a owner, a person who owns an investment property, where do you think they're going to transfer that cost? They're gonna transfer it to you as a renter. Man, I'm dead. This is the reason why <laughs> I'm giving you guys this information as a renter. I know some of you guys are saying, I wanna do this month to month rent. I wanna do three months rent. I don't wanna sign a year's lease. But this is where you're hurting yourself. <laughs> because everything is going up and you are giving an owner, your landlord, a chance to continue to raise the rent. They may even get to a point if you're doing a month to month rent where you may see increases of 25 to $50 a month over month over month. And you think it to yourself, huh, well, I'm gonna leave and they're gonna be so mad that I left. Here's the thing that you don't know, guys. Landlords will push you out by price gouging you. <laughs> Excellent. Because they can get someone in paying a higher market rent than you are. Yeah, this is America. So it is better to lock yourself in a lease, guys. A 12 month lease, because the homes won't be all evaporated by then, guys. You still have to remember, guys, we're still going through a recessionary period. We still have the fourth quarter of the end of this year, and then we have winter, which is the slowest time anyway, and then you have to get all the way back to spring. Spring is when things start to really get busy, and that's where you want to be. And if you were smart, if you were watching my videos, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> then you would have known that I've been telling you guys to do this month over month over month, six months ago, a year ago. 
hey, make sure you lock yourself in on a rental right now, sit on the sidelines, save your money, and so you won't continue to pay these high, ridiculous prices. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Channel 2 consumer Dale Clark Howard says, once the bill is due, a taxpayer doesn't have much recourse. It's over, he says. But when you get the notice of a reappraisal of your home, you have a period to appeal, and the county tells you in a notice how long you must appeal. Now, this is all great, and this is true. You do have a period to appeal. But here's the reason why I say that people who are buying homes right now are subject to paying higher prices in taxes, but the value goes down. It's because there is a lag period, guys. <laughs> There is a lag period from the purchase, from your property getting appraised, to the value being appraised at what it actually is at the moment. In most counties, there's a lag. So you may be paying the price of what you paid for it, but you know right now your property is at a lower value, but you're stuck. There's nothing you can do until you can prove that the value of your home is down, down, down. And let me tell you what, try to get an appraiser to come in after a bunch of homes have just sold the last year for 400 450 and you seen that the last couple of homes in the last six months sold for 350 and 300 does not mean your, your house is going to be valued at 300 350 because maybe there's just not enough home selling at that price maybe you get an appraiser who thinks to themselves oh this is just a period that's just happening at the moment we're gonna kind of see where this falls and we have to remember guys you're asking someone to drop down the price who is a part of the problem to begin with. Awkward, so awkward. Appraisers have continued to make this domino appraisal effect of what I call where they're continuing to value homes higher and higher and higher because people are overpaying for homes. Before I continue, let's watch this video to show you exactly what's happening to individuals when it comes to this crazy housing market and taxes. After living on the same street in the same house for a very long time. I've been here 20 years. Marion Bush is once again in the financial fight of her life. She's on a mission about the property tax bill she just got in the mail last week. Tremendously higher than it has ever been before. Mm, mm, and mm. so uh, when I look at that, I'm in my 60s, so I should be exempt. Marion's tax bill shows her three bedroom home in Arlington has a 2022 market value of more than $198,000. Mm. The market value from 2017 jumped by more than 60%, even with exemptions. See, this is what I'm talking about, guys. I just talked about this. You have individuals who are seniors who can't afford this. They will be kicked out of their homes because they cannot make tax payments on their home. Maybe this lady paid off her home and now all of a sudden she can't even afford this house. Now, yes, it went up 68%. We understand that and that's something that sounds really great. But if you're not going to pull the money out of the home, it's just paper rich. It still does not help the individual make the payments that they need for their taxes. In most of these situations, how I see this end up turning out is senior citizens deciding to go ahead and refinance to pull money out to pay their taxes. But here's the thing, they will be paying at a six to almost 7% interest rate. Now, if they're already having a very hard time making tax payments, how are they going to afford a refinance cash out at a super, super high rate. Let me know how that will affect them. To me, it seems like it will start a domino effect of foreclosures. Some people, I'm sure, when they see the, the tax estimates and they see the percent of increase, will be shocked because it's not something that I've ever witnessed in Collin County, at least. When a house goes uh, on the market, there's usually 30 to 40 offers on the house and people are offering <laughs> a significant amount of money over the purchase price. On Marion Street, she's rallying neighbors like Chandler Lopez for a petition as part of their protest. It is quite upsetting, um, especially since, you know, our house is less than a thousand square feet, so I don't really feel that it's worth almost $200,000. Now we're starting to see the effect that individuals paying 
over asking price, individuals going into an area in the neighborhood and making these homes unaffordable is hurting everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, we have problems. And this is one thing that I am telling you guys, it's going to be coming down the pike here is we have unemployment, which we're starting to see some cracks in that. We have individuals working two to three jobs. When it comes to employment, we have stable income. Income has not went up. We're going in a recession. We're seeing price drops. Everything on top of that is more expensive. Then on top of that, on top of that, guys, we have taxes that are becoming due for seniors where they have to pay the money up front. And then we have your escrow accounts. In some instances, your insurance and your taxes will double, which will end up doubling. Listen, guys, doubling your mortgage payment and how many people will be able to afford that. With that being said, with the recession, everything coming, a bunch of foreclosures are coming, guys. Part of their protest will also include arguing appraisals should not jump so high just because their smaller homes are just a block away from much larger homes. Those homes over there, they're more expensive. Marion's tax bill gives her until May 16th to protest, and it won't be her first time. Hmm. It's depressing when you got to try to figure out, well, if you're going to eat, or you can pay these Thai tax uh, bills. In Arlington. And that is exactly my point. How are you going to be able to afford this when you have to make decisions like that? Should you eat? or should you pay taxes? It's not going to work. Hence the reason why it's so, so important, guys, for you guys to look at information like this and use this to assess, do I really wanna jump in this housing market with prices so exaggerated, with taxes so exaggerated? At least if you wait and purchase a home, the price will be evaluated, not on buying an overpriced home, but buying an affordable home. That is the key. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking like, Orlando, maybe that's just uh, that area. Maybe it's just Atlanta. Well, let's go ahead and take a look. We have Fort Worth here. Fort Worth property taxes are going up. And one council city member is fighting back. Okay, that's one. The Salt Lake Tribune. Here's why your property tax bill went up so much and how can you lower it? Let's go for another one. El Paso, Texas. Homeowners likely to pay higher property taxes despite city voting for a lower tax rate. <laughs> And it just goes on and on and on, guys. So this is the reason why this information is so, so crucial. And this is the reason why you need to watch this next video. It will literally help you figure out what you need to do in this housing market, lead you in the right direction. So make sure you look at this next video. It will give you even more information to arm yourself to know exactly what to do in this crazy housing market and even to buy your own investment property. So hope you got value out of this one. See you in the next one. Thanks.